Hi and welcome to this new video. I'm currently using the next release of Velocidrone which is probably going to be 1.7 and I'm going to have a look at how we do USB setup for a Tyrannis as the last time I did one of these videos was in version 1.3 and we're now up to 1.7 things have changed a bit so I felt it was probably worthwhile doing a new video so uh, when we want to set up a Tyrannis we would go into settings and this process would be true for any USB device I just happen to be using a Tyrannis because it's quite a popular device um, when we get to this screen the general settings we click on USB controller setup and it takes us into this screen here now in this screen we have our controls over here for setting our controller up and then up here we have a quad which just shows us whether our controls are working now my Tyrannus is currently plugged in and I've very deliberately removed all the configuration for it because I'm going to set it up from scratch now before doing this video I have gone into Windows and calibrated the Windows joystick device for the Tyrannus and there is a video on the site that shows you how to do that and I don't need to update that that's still the same for, for Windows so this is just an update for inside of the simulator okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to assign a controller the way we do that is we click assign controller over here and it says move something on it so I just pushed a stick on my Tyrannus and it's immediately detected that controller okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to go into calibrate and inside of here we have our axes and there's loads of them but actually for the Tyrannus the axes will, will be in this first few here so axis 0 is actually my throttle stick so I'm just moving the throttle up and down here you can see I'm getting a nice full range of throw on my throttle and that's because I've previously done a Windows calibration so it's throwing to the full extent and the, both of the arrows the orange one and the white one are moving together and that's really what you want to be aiming for is for them to all be moving together because that shows that you've got a proper Windows calibration now we have something called dead zone now by default there will be an amount of dead zone in here and it's usually quite large for the throttle stick we just don't need any get rid of it okay and then we look at axis one so axis one is actually my roll axis now my Tyrannus has actually got a dodgy gimbal on roll which is why it's not centering and uh, I'm actually in the process of ordering new gimbals for it, the new M9 Hall Center sensor gimbals because uh, this is unfortunately the second gimbal I've had to put on this particular Tyrannus so it's not centering properly but normally it would center there in fact for this video I'll make an adjustment so it this is what you'll normally see if your gimbals are correct and not all over the shop like mine are and uh, you should be getting you know a nice good throw the arrows moving together now what I usually do is put just a tiny bit of dead zone in here not very much if you if you get rid of it completely then you can get a bit of drift in the sim uh, when you center your sticks particularly if your sticks don't center very well like mine so I usually just keep a tiny weeny bit of dead zone in here just so that when you put the stick in the middle you don't get any drift at all it allows for a, you know, a stick that doesn't centre that well ok and then for axis 2 that's pitch so I'm just moving my stick up and down now and you can see that's all fine and then axis 3 is your moving the stick left and right for your and you can see it's all moving and going to the full extent of the throws now if for any reason at all you're not getting a full throw then you can hold the stick over and then go to this sensitivity slider and this allows you as you can see here to change the throw so you can just increase it until it hits the stop and doesn't go any further and then you've got a nice full throw Okay. Uh, again tiny bit of dead band in there 
you can see that the arrow, the orange arrow at the bottom here is the input from the TX and this the white one is the output to the SIM you can see it's just moving twitching a little bit so you you don't want it to twitch outside of that little red zone otherwise you'll get some drift inside of the SIM so that's my four axis um, the Tranus has actually got more axes you can use so uh, I can't remember which one it is five yeah five is my S2 dial and uh, I quite like to use that for camera angle so we'll just drop the dead zone down on this one as well and I'll use that one for camera angle in a minute and if I go down a bit more six I think is the other no it's not it is it four yeah four is the other dial that's the S1 dial so I shall use that for field of view um, and that's probably all we need to be aware of for, for this particular um, section and as I say if you've done a windows calibration you don't need to do the calibration in here uh, on this it should all be nice and already done so we'll click done so now we're happy that our sticks are calibrated and our dials are calibrated so what we want to do now is we want to assign our controls so we'll start with throttle and these are buttons over here you can see them highlighting as I go over them so if I want to assign my throttle I click that button and it says put it in the center so I move the stick to the center like that and then it says now move it so I move it and now you can see when I give full throttle the quad top right over here the props are spinning and when I close the throttle they stop and that shows me that my axis is working correctly now if it was the wrong way around if it was you know when the throttle was closed I had the prop spinning then you can click this button here to reverse that particular control okay so now we'll do roll so it asks you to center the stick so I just don't touch my roll stick and then it asks you to move it so you move it and now you can see the quad is showing me moving my roll stick and it's rolling the correct direction so I don't need to reverse it so now we do pitch stick in the middle wait for the second countdown now move it just give it a full throw when it asks you to move the move the stick and now you can see that's all working fine and I'm getting a nice full throw on that stick and it's in the right direction and then your again don't touch the stick wait till the countdown is finished and then move the stick give it full throw and that's your in the correct direction so that's all good so I said I would do camera angle adjust on my S2 switch so I'm just going to make sure my S2 switch is in the middle of its range click this button wait for the first countdown to finish and then twist it okay now I don't have any way of verifying that that is working as I want only that it's assigned it there's nothing I can see in here to show my camera angle and then for field of view I'm going to use my S1 dial so I'm just going to make sure that's in the middle click wait for the first countdown to finish and then give it a nice full throw and that's picked up axis 4 now on my Tyrannis I've also got one of the switches I've got the um, SF switch set up you can hear me, hear me flicking it I use that to start a race so if I click here leave the switch in one position or the other it doesn't matter and then just switch it when it asks you to throw it and now that's race start and I don't know if one of these others uh, I've got set up or not but we'll see if we can uh, set up uh, a reset I'll do that on the sprung switch I don't know if I've assigned it so we'll, we'll see no it's not assigned in my Tyrannus at the moment so I can't I can't throw that one so nothing detected there all right well so we'll leave it there um, you can see if I open the throttle I've got the prop spinning close it they stop pitch forward pitch back roll right roll left your left your right all working correctly and that's the process for setting up your controls very very straightforward as I say if you've done the Windows calibration first then normally going through 
the calibrate screens here is really just for setting up your dead zones and just making that these throws on here are to the full. Now if for any reason your throws aren't all the way to the full, so for instance if on roll, and you can see my pot is a mile out on roll, but if on roll you can see that, that isn't travelling right to the end, if I get all of the sensitivity slider you can see it's got a bit further to go. What that will mean is when I set my rates up in the sim, if it's like this and I go to full roll, I'm not going to get full rate. It's going to be slower than the full rate. And with Super Expo that we've got in the beta flight controller, that could be a significant slowdown in the roll rate. So you do need to make sure that these go right to the end and then won't travel any further. And then you'll get correct rates inside of the sim when you set up your beta flight rates. It's just something to note. Okay, so that's it, and I'll see you on the next video.